So what we're going to do in this video is take this thermostat and replace it with a smart thermostat, in this case an Ecobee, and that's going to allow us to have more control over this regularly dumb gas-fired wall heater. So in order to make this upgrade, we're going to need a smart thermostat. I've got an Ecobee here. I think it's a 3. Some low voltage cabling. This is 16-2 lamp cord. I'd recommend something in the 18 gauge range and a 120 volt AC to 24 volt AC power supply and of course a screwdriver. So we're going to start by taking this wire and attaching it to the AC adapter. Now I've already got it stripped here but basically what we're going to do is attach one conductor to the 0 volt terminal and one conductor to the plus 24 volt terminal on this AC adapter. Just loosen up the screws here Give the wires a little bend, wrap around the screw, and then get them underneath the screws and tighten them down. Great, now that we've got that on there, we're going to get the back plate for our thermostat that has the electrical connections on it. And what we're looking to do here is attach the plus 24 volt cable to the RC terminal and the zero volt cable to the C or common terminal on your back plate. I know this is hard to see, but if you're looking for the letters RC and C. So then we'll just thread this through the back plate and then insert these wires into the RC port. This is why I recommend a 18 gauge wire. The 16 was a little bit too big for these uh, ports on this back plate. And then same thing, the zero vo volt conductor, we're going to connect to the common or C terminal of the back plate. And this will provide a constant power source to keep your smart thermostat active throughout the day. So we're going to go ahead and take the old thermostat off the wall. First thing you're going to want to do is remove the cover and then go ahead and loosen the two screws that are holding down the signal cables that go to the heater. And then you're going to go ahead and loosen the screws that are mounting the thermostat to the wall. Just push those wires through the back, making sure not to lose them in the wall cavity behind. And then you're going to take your back plate of your new thermostat and thread the wires through. And then Go ahead and mount that to the wall. I had already drilled this hole for this screw, so you want to go ahead and find your mounting location, get it nice and level, and then affix it to the wall. And then we're going to take these two cables and install them. I'm going to put one on the W1 terminal 
and the other on the RH terminal. And here's a close-up shot of how that looks when it's complete. Once you have those installed, you can go ahead and install the thermostat face. And then go ahead and plug in the wall transformer into an outlet below. And there it goes. Here you go, be our other smart thermostat now has power. It'll start setting itself up. This one has been used previously, so the settings are already saved in it. Um, and it'll just load load up to what it what it was saved to last time. So over here at the heater, we're gonna go ahead and turn on the gas, and then get the pilot light lit. And there it goes. Now to show that it works, I'm gonna turn the heat up on the thermostat here higher than the current temperature of the room and you'll see the flame will go ahead and get larger based on that input from the thermostat and then similarly I'll go ahead and set the temperature lower than room temperature and again the flame will go down relative to that input so I hope you guys found this video informative and helpful. If you did, please give us a like and a follow and subscribe to the channel. Thanks.